Hello, welcome back to Let's Build the 200 subs well, the belated 200 subscriber special. Today, I'm going to be uh, perhaps taking on a bigger chunk than normal, but just trying to make a, um, excuse me, a, um, oh, what's the word I want to use? Um, like a, uh, my mind is failing me right now. But uh, basically, I just want to make a zone that the Chinese uh, fighters are going to patrol in to try and deny the United States Navy air superiority. Uh, so we're going to start by adding some reference points. And I think we want a fairly wide zone here. We don't necessarily want them overflying the ships because then, obviously, at that range, they'll be easy prey for... Sam's and stuff, but we can, uh, you know what, I probably could have defined area, but, uh, okay, so this one, and now let's spread out, it's about here, because I do want this block to be kind of the responsibility of the Chinese carrier, which I might save that for another time, uh, okay, reference points, so we got, up, up. Up and up. so this will essentially create a shield, if you will. Uh, I guess this is mostly just going to be the mainland fighters too, because uh, obviously there is a small garrison on uh, Parcel Island or whatever the fuck island that is. Is it Parcels? I don't know. Whatever they're calling it these days. Uh, Woody Island. I guess that's the. U.S. name, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's got their own name for it because they all want to claim their rights to it. But, uh, that island and all the others. But, uh, so let us add a new mission? No mission editor. Uh, let's see here. So we do want a multi-mission but we just want to limit ourselves to aircraft here for this. And I think... Yeah, I want to add a mission. Actually, I want... I think I want a task pool first. So we'll call this Chinese Fighters. Hey. Can I rename you, please? Uh, I double click. There we go. Okay, thank. You. Um, so now we are going to add a mission, and this is going to be under the tasks. Actually, first, uh, let's assign all these fighters to the task pool. So these FC thirty ones. We can throw in there um, the J10Cs. Uh, we can throw those in there. Actually, as long as they're all air superiority, we should be able to throw in. Yeah, some are in land naval strike, but like we can throw this squad in. J. We can throw in all of these. I swear I saw some that were set up for strike. Did I act? Yeah, these are all air superiority. These are all. I don't know why the one is set to uh, apparently light. <laughs> I don't know why the one is different than the others. But uh, we should be able to fit all those in. Oh, because I... Oh, well, that's part of it. I was looking at a different... Uh, a different aircraft. <laughs> and I didn't realize it. Yeah. So... These guys, air superiority. Uh, these guys can be part of the air superiority pool. Um, I 
Evil only stand off. These guys should all be air superiority, and then, okay, so. There we go. So now if I go down this list, it should all be air superiority. Flounder should be, yeah, naval standoff. More Flounders, naval standoff. I thought I had actual fighters based at Woody Island, but maybe I don't. Anyways, I know there's a few fighters left, so let's see here. We got the Roaring Wolf, uh, which we don't want to use as a fighter. Uh, J20. May as well pull them into the pool. Uh, let's see what else. That might actually be it. Because uh, Flying Shark, it should be the... Yeah, that's on the Shadong. The other flying sharks are on the Shadong. The roaring shark is on the Shadong. The flying sharks are... Well, flying... Oh, we have these guys. Okay. These guys uh, I did miss. Those are J-16 flying shark. The flounders are all standoff. Most of these others are standoff. So now I think uh, we have everything. Do I have any J31s? FC31, that must be what that is. Um, I think. No, because carrier variant. Is it J20 or FC20? Where are you? ASW Patrol. Super Frelons, I know our helicopters. Those, I know our helicopters. Cubs, I know. Careless, I know. Cub, I know. Helix, I know. Flounder, we know. Various sharks, we know. Badgers, we know. Ah, huh, okay. I'll trust what I did in the placing units down. Um, so, we can see here we have... Uh, let's see, 104, 120... 136 fighters, which is a fair lot. So, um, the U.S. Carrier Battle Group is a little outgunned. <laughs> they have, at best, 48 fighters, I think, give or take. Maybe 60. So, two to one odds. But I think we'll make up some of that ground in Chinese tech probably being a bit worse and in their experience levels. And tactics being a bit worse. So we'll see how that goes. To me. Now that I have the task pool assigned, I'm going to add a new mission for patrol. AAW patrol. Parent pool. I can't select. Is that only for package? Okay, package is fine. Wonder what the difference between package and pool is. I guess we'll find out. Um, so this will be... Um, frontal airspace security, we'll call it. Hey, there we go. We got a nice little thing there and we can see it's assigned to the Chinese fighters pool so it will pull from these aircraft I do believe mission settings one third rule uh, movement style repeatable loop random within area either works Uh, we can do, yeah, flight size of two is probably fine. Preferences, tankers, allow refueling. It, honestly, I don't think tankers are going to be... They might be useful during the form-up period for, like, massive strikes, but that's about it. <laughs> Number of aircraft that investigate 
unknown contacts, one fight, all fights engaged hostiles. Uh, you are of aircraft. Okay, the QRA is like the quick reaction alert, I think, which is basically just, you know, trying to turn the aircraft around as fast as possible. Uh, oh, you can set a prosecution area too. Non aircraft s settings, this is uh, irrelevant to us because we're only doing aircraft. EMCOM and weapons release authorizations. Um, Honestly, I'm probably just going to do another pass to, um, because, like, for the Chinese side, or actually what, what I will do is, um, at the very least, I'm going to do, uh, the weapons release authorizations and the EM comm settings and withdraw settings, um, I'm going to set those on a per side basis. To me, and then tweak when necessary, because obviously, uh, I think the emissions control for like the Hawkeye is going to be different than the emissions control we want to see coming from uh, aircraft, perhaps. So, uh, yeah, so quick turnaround, yeah, so I mean, yeah, we're not going to touch that, but right now, what this should do is it should take one-third of these units, fly them out there, and then they should shoot down anything in or around that area that they can see. I believe that's what it's set. Yeah, all flights engage hostiles. Investigate contacts outside patrol area, but within weapons range. So we can see how this works. Um, well, that should be set up, so let's deselect. And what we can do, too, is we'll be able to pull, eventually we'll be able to pull from the same pool, I hope, and use that to basically, actually, let me check real quick if I can do that. Uh, so if I make a package, uh, That might be a bit trickier. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I won't be able to do that quite like how I wanted. But uh, ideally, I'd be able to pull from that same pool to generate the escorts for the bomber strikes. But what we can do here is a little bit of debugging. First, I'm going to save the scenario, and we're going to create a new side. We'll call. We'll call this side Testicles. And they're just going to be hostile to... Uh, for now, they'll be hostile to... Come on. Uh, did it drop? Okay. It's going to be hostile to China. And China is going to be hostile to Testicles. All right. So what we can do here is um, we'll add a <laughs> we'll add an airfield there um, for testing purposes. Uh, boom! Oops! Boom! There we go. Ah, crap! First few islands. Uh, okay. Come on. Elevation, three feet. Close enough. And let's put an airfield down there that would Im would be impossible to fit there. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to add units. Let's say at three different ranges, we'll have... Um, We'll, we'll make them big, fat, uh, you know, I, I shouldn't. Um, hmm. Uh, there we go. We'll, 
We'll just make them A400s. Sure. Uh, Malaysian. Why not? Ferry loadout. Doesn't really matter. And what we can do is I'm just going to stagger them. And I'll just let them keep flying north, you know. And now what we can do is we can switch over to the Chinese side. Run the scenario. And we'll want to speed this. Oh, you know what? Uh, I didn't put an activation time, but we're just going to say activate now. Uh, okay, I think I know why that happened. Because I have to activate you. And now... Uh, create flight plans for... Yeah. So if I do that... Uh... Hopefully that, uh, it does the trick, uh, I don't think it did. I don't see anyone taking off. Uh, all right. All right. Let's, uh, oh, time on station. That's why I needed to. There we go. Now, clear that. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'm on stations. What? Why is it being interrupted? All right, let's see. Operations planner. Maybe I can go there to trigger it. Uh, Chinese fighter phase triggered. Activated. Uh, let's see. Here's an airfield. Uh, no aircraft. Did I really put it at the uh, the single unit airfield? Whoops. My bad. All right, anyways. Parked mission task pool. Here, you should be triggered too. Uh, let's do out. And then let's check back in. Sort order phase. Mobilize assign 56 units. Okay, all right, all right. Tiny surveillance. Uh, hey, we can. You know what? Let's trigger you two. Drone surveillance trigger. ESM surveillance trigger. Carrier AEW trigger. Okay, so let's edit all of those, and now let's see what happens. very least, I expect to be seeing a lot of, uh, up oh, there we go. They're, they are spooling up. We are getting a response. So some units are launching. I don't know if my fighter mission is launching though. Oh, do I actually have to manually assign them all? From the task pool? Because then they aren't in the task pool, they're in... I thought it would pull... Dynamic? Here, let's... Put you up. Dynamic. Yeah, I gotta set it to dynamic, I think.
Don't? Okay. Uh, J20, there we go. I did have it in there. I just didn't see it. Um. Okay, that's fine. I guess they don't need... Okay, there we go. So now it's in the task pool and assigned. So now if I create flight pan plans for all packages, I don't see a warning this time. Air tasking order. Show flights for airborne flights and map all all right let's I guess I'll let it run a little bit longer we can see at least the uh, the Chinese carrier is putting out some uh... oh you know what I probably said it's the one-third rule and it's just putting out a third of their helicopters, so that's fine. Uh, we should be able to see from some of these bases, some of those surveillance aircraft I thought were taxiing. Yeah, they're taxiing the takeoff. Apparently it... Oh, you know what? I have a pause, that's why. <laughs> Okay, so now if I go to the operations planner, I should see Mobilize Assigned 56. And if I go to Air Tasking Order, there we go. Now we have a bunch of stuff taken off. I think. I guess we'll see in a few minutes uh, if the airspace starts getting real. Oh, these guys are just circling. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we've got our recon stuff coming up. So they're taking off, climbing the altitude, going to their assigned stations. And there we go. We got fighters taking off. All right, so I had a... Okay, that was a learning experience for me. But you can see they're taking off from multiple bases. They have plotted their course to the um, to the zone. Actually, if we really wanted to, I could even. Uh... So this is what it's going to look like when we. Uh... Hopefully, this doesn't crash the game um, or the simulator. Uh... Okay, so I just wasn't sure if it could handle uh, the 15x speed that we're... Okay, yeah, that, that's a button that just instantly brings it down. So 15x speed, we can see. Oh, controls are like inverted for the 3D version, but there we can see everyone's taken off. I don't care that much about the controls list. Not right now, at least. And we can see also now that there's some pretty solid tracks for for these um, between SIGINT, uh, satellites. Uh, actually, it might be this satellite that's giving the constant track right now as opposed to those ECM approximate zones that we were seeing earlier. But that satellite won't be overhead forever. Oh, we can even, <laughs> we can see the AWACS. Uh, E1. Oh, bogey 136. I think that's what it's supposed to be trying to say. Ooh, that guy's doing a dive. But we can even see the AWACS that the American Carrier Battle Group has launched. Yeah, so this is what the, the general view looks like. And these guys should auto-identify. And this is what I did just to see how far out things would go. I'm also kind of curious if they will engage the AWACS too, because those are up without protection. Um, and I think that depends on your weapons release authorization. But 
once they, like, if I gave them a manual engagement order, then that would immediately turn the American side hostile in the, um, the sides, uh, setting box. I do know, oh, I accidentally, whatever. This is just a test run. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I do want to speed things up, though. They are uh, probably just going at cruising speed. There we go. Yeah, I think, like, the, is this saying they're going at... Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. I'm sure they're doing more than Mach 0.07. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Oh, this is pulse mode. I just want... Constant. There we go. Alright. Flame it up again. But yeah, you can see when I flame it up, it, this number rises rapidly, which makes me wonder if it was like a speed thing. You know, is it just like the program and the little bits of data it's getting it thinks they're doing like Mach 30 or whatever. Alright, so these guys should be able to make some VIDs pretty soon. So I'm gonna... Or not... If not VIDs, then... Yeah, see, they've already classified them as... That first one as a transport. Probably through... Um, measurement analysis... Yeah, it's being picked up by their the fighter-born Asas, so they got more eyes on it. And the AI should be sending a flight to VID it or get close enough that they can do a proper ID. All right, let's go back to flames. That is if the... Okay, there we go. So this one finally got ID'd as a hostile. So now Gambler57 here, that auto-assigned name, which is... Oh, that's the, the group name, essentially. So now we can kind of see how the uh, kinematics work for the new missiles. We'll see how close he decides to engage and with what he inside decides to engage with but we can see his status engaged offensive and he should be well within re weapons range I would think um, probably using the PL-12 right uh, where's my date it's not on the other screen oh it's under uh, all aspect, active radar, yeah, this should have a range of 50 nautical miles. So originally, you'd fire at, like, pretty much max range. Now he's, yeah, he's about, yeah, this red circle should be his weapon range. And depending on what the weapons release authorization is set for, because I believe that was setting it. Oh, someone else took the shot. Okay. So, here you can see the speed is dropping. The active radar seeker is on. It's locked on. This guy's probably aware that he's fucked right now. Although he hasn't seen the missile. So, apparently A400s do not have a missile approach warning system or anything. Boom. Gone. Let's see our message log pop this up. Uh, weapon end game. Oh, they didn't have one. Here we go. Weapon PL twenty one adjusted for altitude point five, adjusted for proficiency point four. Aircraft has weight fraction agility. Final probability hit eighty eight percent. So the transports are sitting ducks. We can see the next one's been identified. So now we can speed up and see how they react to the rest of these contacts. It's not looking good for uh, Atlas Grizzly over here. But yeah, basically once 
the radar is in a range that they can actually see, like get some really good measurement intelligence on it, then that's when they can kind of self-identify if the radar is advanced enough. Here we can see another missile has been launched. It should be reaching its activation point, at which time it will turn on its radar. Boop, there it sees it. It's homing in. Oh! That one missed. So we have another missile being launched, this time a PL-12, shorter range. Or no, it's the same range. So that should be a hit. 88%, yeah. Boom. So now we got... <laughs> they didn't coordinate their missile launches too well. So now we've got multiple missiles flying, but they shouldn't... Uh... So on, is that what I think it is? Yeah, PL-21. So the J-20s actually use their... Or whatever they're equipped on. We're using their... Uh... Oh, these were on the FC-31s. Okay, or the J-31s. They were using their super long-range stuff. And here you can see this missile... Its motor is burned out, so it's just kind of coasting there now. You can see its speed is dropping fairly rapidly, and boop, out of range of altitude. This guy actually managed to live long enough that uh, they were able to vector him onto that grizzly. And now you can see everyone running. Curiously enough, the AWACS here, despite how close some of these aircraft are has not been identified yet, which is surprising to me that they can be at this range and not realize it's an E3. Uh, then again, it's probably not broadcasting. But yeah, so now they're... <laughs> Everyone's pursuing that guy. So that's... We'll probably be up. Oh, nope, that was a miss. Uh, ooh, thirty-two percent. Uh, hit probability. Its base is ninety-eight percent. Adjusted for weapon speed, thirty-five percent. Oh, because it was out of fuel, so it was pure aerodynamic flight control. Okay, how can you guys not identify this? You have like twenty miles separation now. I'm sure if we swip, flip over to the U.S. screen, they're, uh, they'll probably be freaking the fuck out. All right, it's got to reload the video. But you have an AWACS here, you know, in the middle of all these. Uh... Turn that off, turn that on. <laughs> in the middle of everyone. Yeah. The fleet can see perfectly what all the Chinese are. Whereas the Chinese can't even figure out who he is. Although they should know now that he's radiating. And APY9. What? They, can they seriously still not figure it out? It looks like too far beyond the uh, patrol range, and they will not identify. So, like, these contacts, they don't care about. Okay, so these guys must be the ones identifying them. And they have identified them, finally, as an AWACS. Uh, after closing to within, like, three nautical miles. Is everyone status engaged offensive? Yeah. But they are turning away, so they are letting him be. Oh, they're engaged offensive because someone happened to uh, figure out who this guy is. So now they're going to come further and further over, which could actually work against them. Um, because now they're going to uh, be coming closer to the fleet's fire range, so they'll be vulnerable to SM-6 missiles. So, eh, I'm satisfied. So realistically, they probably wouldn't be engaging that, but... Uh, and also, just as a demonstration... So on the U.S. Navy side, you see these guys are... Unfriendly, but not hostile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we were to take Enterprise Battle Group and do a manual... Oh, hey, they changed the cursor icon. That's interesting. Let's do a manual engagement with a um, 
Uh... Oh, ERAM. So if we allocate one weapon to target and... Okay, and then we fire it there. You'll see they've instantly all turned hostile. However, on the Chinese side, and it'll take them a second or two to fire it, they still see the U.S. as unfriendly. All right, uh, play. Here we go. So they've surely launched the missile by now. But once that missile... Uh, once they detect that missile, which when they detect it, that could be a, a thing. <laughs> Someone will see it soon enough. It, can't possibly have that long a flight time for 30 miles. There we go. And now they've immediately designated the U.S. side as hostile as a result of that. And I'm just curious to see how well this uh... <laughs> Right. Oh, so because now they're hostile uh, the weapons release authorization is basically open game. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But we can see yet. Yeah. Close and resume. We're going to be getting a lot of those pop ups. Which I could change that in settings. Maybe I will for the. Uh... So, what are you guys? You are J10s. J10s. I'm going to see if there's anything more. J11s. Which I think those are flankers, right? Uh, I think they are. Maybe. GSH-30. Eh, probably. Uh, anyways, close and room. Yeah, flanker. Back here is probably where we're going to see the... Uh, some of the more advanced aircraft. Close and resume. Close and resume. Okay, here. Yep, and now they're taking casualties to... I wish I could move this. I thought there was... Oh, oh, here, pop out. That's what I want. Uh, so now... We can see... Here, th that the uh, ERAM impacted. Um, there was... Um, the, kind of see the, the kill sequence here. So once it gets into engagement range where the missile tries to attack the aircraft, we can, um, excuse me, we can see first they try to use their chaff, which fails to spoof the active radar seeker. Then they tried to use their built-in defensive ECM to jam the radar seeker. It didn't work. And then it does the kill calculation, which... Um, I want the raw... There we go. There we go. That's where I want. Um, so we can see decoy. Final probability 4% because it's late. The radar seekers technology is late 2010s. Result failure. Defensive jammer. Trying to spoof the sensor. And th this compares the technology of the jammer to the technology of the sensor that it's trying to jam. So we see late 1990s versus late 2010s. Final probability, 5% failure. And now that the weapon is firing, it has a base hit of 90%. The contact has a nominal agility, which is generally the class of fighter. You know, 3rd gen, 4th gen, 5th gen. Adjusted for altitude, 2.5. Adjusted for proficiency, 1.25. Weight fraction, adjust the agility down further. High deflection impact, no effect on agility, depending on um, some of the... Um, shots like are you hitting it from the side are you hitting it from the front it's certain some of those shots are easier to make than others final agility mod modifier ne negative or uh, negative 10 percent so the weapon had an 80 percent result to hit and it hit so it was lost 
So you'll be seeing a lot of those once we get further in. But so far, I'm pretty satisfied. It's also worth noting that, granted, some of these guys were probably after burning at when they detected the um, hostile contacts. But they're down to half fuel already. Just in the process of getting here, setting up a patrol zone. So that's why range was kind of like a concern for me when setting up some of this stuff. Uh, some of them are kind of on the edge of their operational range here, so. Oh, yeah. All right. At least I got it set up. I kind of understand what I need to do to set it up, so be able to move forward with other things. And I think I'm going to call it here. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.